So it's three days away past probably the worstest boxing ass kicking I've ever seen in my life. I'm literally telling you, uh, I got an actual punch his hand myself, uh, broke my knuckle, whatever, it is what it is. Um, I've never seen a mauling of, uh, of a heavyweight fight the way Tyson Fury completely beat the living hell out of Deontay Wilder. Beat him from pillar to post, from corner to corner. He made him look like, well, a rookie. Not even a rookie. It was like an uneven fight. The bully got bullied. What Tyson Fury did was nothing but phenomenal. This man, Gypsy King, told everyone exactly what he was going to do. He went at him. He beat him. He never let him get his range. Whenever Deontay put his left hand out to get that range, Tyson would knock it out the way. If you check one of my past videos, I said that a long time ago. To beat Deontay, don't let him get his range. Because he's a one-trick pony. And literally, you saw Saturday night, he's a one-trick pony. He could never get that. He never drew that right hand. Now, I'm going to play devil's advocate here. And I'm going to call out what I saw wrong. Deontay's, first of all, Deontay's costume is 40 pounds my ass. Okay, please. Please do don't tell me that the, the the costume you wore was 40 pounds and that your weak ass could not walk to the freaking ring with 40 pounds around you. That it made you weak. First of all, you drew on an extra 19 pounds. Okay, so you want to do the math, do the math. He was carrying 60 pounds. 19 body weight or muscle, which is, obviously it was, it was muscle, plus 40 pounds of the costume. So you carry 60 pounds to the ring and you forgot to realize that when you tried it on in the locker room or when you first bought it. Come on, brother, please. That was something you should have kept to yourself. I don't know what's wrong with boxers, but I do know what's wrong with boxers, their ego. But take the L, dude. You lost. Take a page out of Conor McGregor's book. When Nate Diaz beat him, he didn't make no excuses. He said it. Part of the game. I took a loss. We just come back better. It is what it is. And he kept it moving, came back, and he came back better. He never said that the baby oil was smelling weird or the water he drunk wasn't from, uh, you know, Colorado. Um, he didn't say that the his mouthpiece was made out of plastic, not rubber. Um, he forgot his shoes at home, which had the bar's friend's shoes. Like, there was no excuses, dude. Took the L, that's it. Take the L like a man. Admit you got your ass kicked. And it is what it is. Now, I'm going to play devil's advocate here. During the fight, while Deontay was getting his ass handed to him, why did his corner? not advise him on what was going on. Now, this is what I mean. If you've seen any great fights where the champion is about to lose or the contender, the number one contender is not living up to par, this corner, and you can take this to somebody like Teddy Atlas, who's done this, in the corner, talk to his father and tell him, wake up, you're getting your ass kicked. You're not showing me nothing. If you don't begin to fight back, I'm going to stop this fucking fight. Show me something. Oh, I will throw in the towel. At no time was he warned by his corner to fight back. The majority of the time, all they did was put ice on the back of his neck. 
from round one, they were putting ice in the back of his neck. When Deontay walked into that ring and took off that monstrosity of an outfit, he was pouring sweat. On in round two, his legs was already gone. The look on his face was somebody please help me. Help me. Every time he would clinch, he would look up at the clock. I know how much time was left in this ring in this in this round. Day I don't care what people can say, but there was honestly something wrong with him. Was it surprised that Tyson did what he was going to do? Dude, you're a war. You said you want to go out on your shield. Well, first of all, you got to be a warrior to go out on your shield. And you didn't show me no warrior heart whatsoever. Let me let, let me take that back. He did keep on fighting. But no one was talking to him in the corner. Nobody was telling him, yo, bro, you're getting your ass kicked. Dude, what's wrong with you? Deontay, throw that right hand. Deontay, use your jab. Deontay, back up. Deontay, don't get on the rope. Deontay, come forward. Nothing. Now, according to the lineup, and this is something that his his coach said, and his coach to me is making excuses, we don't manage his corner like a regular boxing corner does. It's almost like football. We have the quarterback, we have the defensive, we have the offensive. Everyone has their own say. No, too many hands in a cookie jar, dude. You can't do that. Someone's got to be in charge. Mark Breland. Hero, yes. But as a fighter... Why didn't Mark tell Deontay, dude, you're getting your ass kicked. I'm going to pull the rope on this. I'm stopping it. You need to make it to your family. You are getting mauled out there. Fight back or I'm taking us home. Nothing. Nothing. If you're going to throw in the towel, you're going to tell your fighter, look, dude, we're almost at the finish line. You ain't showing me something. I'm giving you one more round. If in this round you don't show me something, I'm throwing the towel in. The referee didn't say anything to Deontay. Show me something out there, man. I'm going to stop this fight. And all of a sudden, the towel comes out. Okay. Hey, look. Tyson whipped his ass. Bottom fucking line. That's a freaking monster. And if you think about Tyson Fury, he's done this a hundred times. Where he said, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to do this, this, I'm going to do that, 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 that. He ain't lying. He means every word he says and the son of a bitch goes out and does it. So why in God's name didn't somebody say, you know what, Deontay, me doing my homework as your team, we need to change up a couple of things here. Or you're going to get your ass kicked. The, the worst thing that can happen in, 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 in sports is when you got one star and everybody surrounding that star, all they do is kiss his ass. They're afraid to speak up. They're afraid to say what's on their mind. Because that's their money. That's their milk. You know, that's their cash cow. I'm not going to say nothing to get myself fired. Deontay say he got this. You ain't got this. Boy, you only been fighting since you was 20 years old. You're 35. Or 31, whatever the hell your age is. You ain't got the experience. You've never been in a boxing match. You've been in fights. But you've never been in a boxing match. Someone came and exposed you by taking away your one weapon, your right hand. 
I don't know why people haven't seen this. I've seen this a long time ago. I saw this during the Lou Louis Ortiz match. I don't know why people stay away. Look, there's two ways of, of stopping a power puncher. Either you come in real close or you just stay out the way. Obviously, you don't want to stay out of his, in front of his distance. But, dude, why was it so hard to beat him? People were scared of getting hit, getting knocked out. Well, dude, if you were scared of getting hit, knocked out, then why the hell did you start boxing? Someone's going to get hit. Even Floyd Mayweather, who's one of the greatest defensive fighters of all time, in my opinion, he's going to get punched in the face. He got punched in the face from a non-boxer, like Conor McGregor punched him in the face. A fight to fight. I don't understand why that corner did not warn him that they were going to throw that towel in. They didn't do anything to, 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 to massage his legs. They didn't do anything to wake him up. They didn't give him real instruction. Something was wrong. In his dressing room, he was doing, I don't know, what was he doing, yoga? Stretches. Stretching. Why was he stretching? He was tight. His body felt tight. He was pacing back and forth. Something was wrong with him. He knew he was walking into the lion's den with no chance in the hell. He knew it. From the moment he walked into that arena in Las Vegas, he knew something was wrong. The look on his face. Did Tyson get in his head? I don't know. Well, why? Deontay, you are a proud man. How can you let someone get in your head? Come on now. That shit don't work. Part of the game. What I think is Deontay figured it out. If Tyson Fury does what he did in round 12 of the first match, I don't know how I'm going to stop him. Because Tyson went, he was down. A regular referee would have stopped that fight. Just by seeing the way he fought, the referee would just call it off. That son of a bitch got up and beat his ass and realized, wait. I just found out how to beat him. Then you took a guy who was, what, six months back? Had two bullshit bum fights, and you couldn't even beat him? Now he's got a full camp. He's got some experience. He's loose. He's ready. His timing is good. Calm now, ball. Calm now. Deontay figured that out. Figured that out. And it was over. So, hats off to you, Mr. Fury, Gypsy King. Congratulations. Please do me a favor. If you're going to, and uh, Deontay already called for his rematch. So just, Tyson, don't take the rematch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you, Deontay. I think you're a great fighter. But you, you're you're in no you're in no class to take on Tyson Fury in a rematch, dude. Nah, you're not. So, Tyson, I beg you, please sign the contract with AJ. Let's get this fight going. Let's get one name, one face, and then let's see if America steps up. Because right now America's getting their ass kicked in boxing, man. Dude, congratulations. Say what?